Moving on with his attractively toned 1958 the Washington Quarter in MS67 plus condition, vivid iridescent hues frames of worse of this high and superb gem. Only a portion of Washington's neck remains free of the color. Rainbow toning also runs around the outer edge of the lower half of the rivers. It was sold for $4,700. Here is an error half dollar 1971 D. Kennedy. 50 cent piece struck on a 40% silver planchet. Like the famous 1943 copper cent, this coin was struck from a leftover planchet. The regular issue was compromised, was comprised of only copper nickel clad coinage as a silver clad coinage 40% silver. Since in 1970, it was sold for $3,910. This is 1950 Washington Quarter with a punched mint mark, the D over S variety, high end guidebook coin. An unusual pair of our mint marks are the mirror twin 1950DS and 1950SD Washington Quarters. This is a remarkable high end example of the former, brightly lustrous, with just a hint of frostiness and light canary yellow toning over much of each side. Minor striking softness is of little concern compared to an over mint mark that is visible to a sharp unaided eye. It was sold for $13,800. Here is 1959 Washington Quarter in MS67 condition with CEC approval. According to Heritage, prior to 1959, mint sets were issued in cardboard and paper holders with high sulfur content that created level iridescent toning. However, beginning in 1959, the mint switched to a thin plastic packaging that protected the coins from toning. For that reason, 1959 through 1964 silver coins are seldom found with any toning. This impressive exception to that rule exhibits lovely gold, blue, and violet on both sides, with brilliant underlying mint frost. This nearly perfect example was sold for $4,700. 1942D Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. The Washington Quarter struck prior to the mid 1990s are common in MS68 PCGS holders. The 1942D is a good representation of rarity of these coins, surviving the extent of just six coins in this grade at PCGS with another four at NGC. According to Heritage, this example displays near flawless satin mint luster and a bold strike. Original multicolored toning adorns each side. Sold on July 21st, 2023 for $6,300. A 1970 D Kennedy half dollar graded as MS67 is relatively rare and valuable, but its specific value can vary depending on several factors. The 1970 D Kennedy half dollar is notable because it's one of the lower mintage years in the series. While it's not rare as 1970 SMS version, it still has a lower mintage compared to other years, which can contribute to its collectible value. The grade MS67 indicates that the coin is in uncirculated condition, with only minor imperfections. In these high grades, the coin is considered to be in exceptional condition and desirable to collectors. The value of a coin will depend on its condition and demand from collectors, and overall market conditions at the time of sale. Typically, coins graded MS67 can command a premium over lower grade coins, but prices can fluctuate over the time. For example, this particular gem was sold for $9,843.75 with buyer's fee. Here is 1941D Jefferson Nickel in MS68 condition with five full steps on reverse. The 1941D, like many Jefferson Nichols, is plentiful in general, however, it becomes a major condition rarity in the higher full steps grades. This enchanting example displays pristine mint luster cast in a delicate iridescent toning. The strike is sharp and neither side has a single notable abrasion. It ended up selling for $3,000. 1924D Lincoln sent in a 65 red condition, according to Heritage, 10 years removed from producing less than 1.2 million Lincoln cents in 1914. The Denver Mint again accomplished a meager total of 2.5 million pieces in 1924. The 1924D serves as a popular semi key that commands a substantial premium even on lower grades. All mint state coins are scarce regardless of color, while fully red examples represent the cream of the crop. It was sold for $13,800. This is 2000 P. Saka Javia dollars struck on an Anthony dollar planchet, graded in MS68 condition by NGC. 
Intense cart will luster springs boldly throughout the near perfect gem surfaces of this important off metal wrong plashed error dollar. The strike is sharp and crisp on both sides with even the tiniest of the details fully represented. Low magnification reveals two light vertical die cracks on Sakajavi's portrait, both beginning on her forehead. The host planchet of the present rarity, a copper nickel clad Susan B. Anthony dollar blank composed of an outer core of 75% copper and 25% nickel, bonded to an inner layer of pure copper is no doubt from the Susan B. Anthony coinage of the year 1999. As described in the 100 Greatest U.S. Error Coins written by Nicholas P. Brown, David J. Kemmeyer, and Fred Weinberg, this type of error coin came about when a leftover planchet intended to be struck for 1999 Susan B. Anthony dollar dies was actually struck by Sacagawea dollar dies. This is referred to as an off-metal transitional error, and it is very rare. It was sold for $16,450. 1959 Roosevelt Diamond PR68 Deep Cameo Condition. The PR stands for proof indicating that this dime is a specially made coin for collectors not intended for general circulation. Proofs are struck using polished dies and planchets, resulting in a sharp, mirror-like finish. The numeric grade 68 signifies that this coin is in excellent condition with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. The deep cameo designation refers to the high contrast between the frosted design elements and the mirror background. It indicates an exceptionally well-struck and visually stunning coin. This true gem ended up selling for $3620.75 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Here is 1914 deal Lincoln sent in MS65 red and brown condition. According to Heritage, the 1914 D has a secondary key date compared to the 1909 SVDB, but it is actually the Scarcer coin in high grade. This gem red and brown example displays satiny luster and well defined motifs with minimal dye erosion in the margins. A carbon spot on the bottom of the C in scent is a pedigree marker. It was sold for $6,600. 1959 D. Lincoln Scent Mule is a rare and valuable error coin that was created when two different coin dies were mistakenly paired during the minting process. In numismatics, a mule refers to a coin that has obverse and reverse designs that were not intended to be paired together. In the case of 1959 D. Lincoln Sand Mule, it features a wheat ears reverse design that was used on Lincoln Memorial Sands. It features a wheat ears reverse design instead of Lincoln Memorial Sand reverse design which was introduced in 1959. This combination of different designs was not supposed to happen, making the mule coin a rare and highly sought-after error. These error coins are considered highly valuable to collectors due to its rarity and unusual combination of designs. The exact number of mule coins produced is not precisely known, which adds to their mystique and desirability among coin enthusiasts. It was sold for $48,300. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content.